Hello, N4H and H here working some FT8. I've changed the uh, theme of uh, WSJTX here to uh, a dark theme, and uh, the instructions for how to do that are actually in the uh, uh, WSJTX manual uh, found online. Um, but also, I've got it recorded in the uh, FTDX10 setup document for PSK and data that is available to the executive and VIP Patreon supporters. So I'm currently calling CQ. Yep, you can see over here in the yellow CQ in 4 h and h in my grid square. I worked a good bit uh, today while I've been working on the manual for uh, my Patreon supporters. Let me see if uh, let me see if y'all can see it. Yeah, there it is. So, screenshots, all sorts of uh, info. There's the dark mode instructions. So, uh, just to give you an idea of what I'm working on here. Oh, I got a taker, two takers. So it's automatically. I've got it set to call first here. So it's automatically going back to the uh, WD5GIE. And I'll tell you, <laughs> the reason I did dark mode is I can barely read. Um, my eyes are still recovering from surgeries, and I can barely read with a white background. It just washes everything out, so I like dark mode. I've, I've been doing dark mode on my phone for a while. Okay, so here it popped up, and I am running one. Uh, I am running 25 watts, so I'm just going to click OK. I've got the uh, menu set over here, file settings uh, and reporting. I've got it set to prompt me to log the QSO. Now, uh, let's see, I'll go back to the other guy. And I'm, I'm adjusting the power over here with this slider, the PWR slider. I've got my ALC settings, uh, you know, uh, it's a balancing act with the sound card. I'll, I'll show you here. Uh, sound mixer settings. So I've got my master volume on my computer at 50, and then I adjusted the WSJTX uh, uh, volume to 9. <laughs> it's very touchy, very touchy. Um, and then uh, the other thing is, is on the radio itself, the R port gain happens to be 9. That just worked out for me. Uh, oh, yeah, log another one. There we go. And so, um, and now what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave it, see it returns to CQ and then I'll just hit enable TX and it'll call CQ again. So uh, on the radio, you know, you, you, you it's a balancing act. You want to get full power output. Uh, so what I do is I adjust the radio to full, to 100 watts. And then you want to adjust um, this, put this slider all the way up, which is zero dB. And then you will make the adjustments. Again, I've got on my system, the R port gain on the FTDX10 worked out better at 9 versus 10. Uh, a lot of people use 10. Um, I don't think it would really make that big of a difference. But uh, then by adjusting the, uh, the, I put the master volume at 50. That's just to, for me, that's a good place for the master volume on the computer. And then I adjusted this slider here until I was basically just barely beginning to see any ALC action on the ALC meter. Um, shout out, by the way, to Gavin, one of the um, Patreon support uh, team members, a VIP Patreon support member who is, uh, there we go, logged another one, who is a prolific um, FT8 operator, uh, digital modes, and uh, he gave me some tips about the ALC. So, um, oh, there's another one. And um, the other thing, too, is the oscilloscope over on the FTDX10. I don't know if you can see it over there in the background. Um, when you transmit, um, yeah, I don't know how, how, how well it's coming in, but when you transmit, you want a perfect sine wave. You don't want it squaring. Uh, off now if i t if i run this slider all the way up 
it puts the rig at 100 watts. Really, it's actually putting out about 95. Um, because of the volume adjustment, I, I wanted to err on the side of caution. If I if I go ahead and bump that up to a 10 where I had a 9, actually it takes about 11. Um, here on the, let me pull it back up. On the sound mixer here, if I put this up to a, about 11, then I can get, can get a full 100 watts. But uh, you start seeing some ALC action there as well. So I was just erring on the side of caution to uh, prevent any harmonics. But you'll, you'll see there, and I've got my oscilloscope set on one millisecond per division. All right, there I am transmitting, and it is showing me, um, you know, maybe 97 watts. There's my waveform. I don't know if you can see that on the uh, monitor there or not, but um, I think this mic's in the way. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'll move that mic out of the way. And then if you'll look right here when I transmit again, uh, just watch the lower left of the big display up there, and you'll see that sine wave. I don't want to have to reconfigure the camera to uh, put that close up there, but you've got an FTDX10. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> log this one. That's why I wasn't transmitting. Okay, um, now, again, it returns me to CQ down here, so I'm just going to click Enable Transmit. And so I'll send another CQ out, and you'll see this meter. There it is, see? Can you see that sinusoidal pattern? You don't want it squaring off at the top, and you certainly don't want to start seeing uh, double. <laughs> um, and uh, so that's, that's good. And, uh, and, and even the FFT on the right... Uh, you don't want to start seeing a mirror image of the signal, like say, you know, uh, if I'm transmitting with a 2,000 hertz uh, frequency, the tone, then you don't want to see a 4,000 up there. If I'm transmitting 1,500, you don't want to see a 3,000. You know, the harmonics. So there you go. There's the sine wave. I think you can see that. Uh, it's, it's faint, but uh, there it is over there. You just don't want to get that thing nasty. So... Um, let me see if I've got any takers here. Yeah. Okay. It's making a contact. Um, okay. So, you know, <laughs> how I feel about FT8, those of you who've been watching the channel, I think it gets kind of boring after a while. But, you know, I mean, it's fun to do for a bit and say you did. And um, I am liking this dark mode. Boy, I can see that so much better. I also changed the fonts. Just, you know, I, it's easier for me to see. Um, let me see what font I used. Uh, let's see, general font. I'm using Arial Black, regular at a size of 10. And again, with dark mode, that made it easier for me to see. The other thing I did with dark mode after I switched it over is I, um, I went into the settings and I went into the colors and I... I didn't really change the colors of these bands because I want them to stay, you know, like default so that I can quickly recognize yellow is me transmitting, red is somebody transmitting to me, and green is somebody sending CQ, that sort of thing. And But what I did do was uh, some of these required me to change the foreground color. So I went in here and um, I would, you know, pick on one of these right click and go to foreground color and that's going to adjust the text color against that background and so like I said me having some difficulty with my eyesight I just wanted to try to make this uh, easier to read okay well I uh, hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it somewhat helpful if you if you did I appreciate that and if you did please click that thumbs up smash that thumbs up button that that like that helps me out with uh, YouTube tremendously and I want to shout out to the Patreon team who uh, support this channel and bring these videos to you. Their monthly financial uh, donations um, bring these videos to you, help me justify the time and offset the uh, cost. So thank you to the Patreon support team. If you want to join that team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash N4HNH. 
And again, please click that like button. And if you would, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, be sure to click that notification bell. And therefore, you will not miss another video. You'll be prompted when I upload another video. Usually a couple a week. Uh, excuse the goat in the background. I'm monitoring a soda uh, spots there. And... Uh, that's, that's the noise, meaning that somebody just posted a spot from a mountaintop for summits on the air. Uh, hey, thanks again for watching, and 73 from N4HNH.